In this video, we'll look at whether XEF4, this is xenon tetrafluoride, is polar or nonpolar. So let's first look at the Lewis structure. Xenon in the center, it has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 valence electrons. That's okay, xenon can have an expanded octet. These right here, these pairs of electrons, they're the ones bonded to the fluorine atoms. The next thing is that xenon, that's a noble gas, and we don't think about noble gases as forming chemical bonds, but in certain circumstances, they do form chemical bonds with other elements. So xenon tetrafluoride, this is a real structure. So let's first look at the electronegativity difference between xenon and fluorine. So here we have fluorine, 3.98, and over here, xenon. So this periodic table shows the noble gases, the ones that form chemical bonds and their electronegativity values. So xenon, fluorine, that's a pretty big difference in electronegativity. That means that the bond between the xenon and the fluorine, that's going to be polar. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. Since this bond here between the xenon and the fluorine is polar, these electrons right here, these bonding electrons, this pair, they're not going to be shared equally. They'll spend more time around the fluorine atom. And that's the case for each one of these bonds here. So the bonds are polar, but what about the molecule overall? Let's take a look at the molecular geometry to understand that. So the purple here in the center, that's the xenon, and then we're going to add four fluorine atoms. One, two, you can see they're spreading out to be as far as they can from each other. Three, four, that gives us this tetrahedral molecular geometry, here. but we have those two lone pairs. One, two, and now we can see we end up with what's called a square planar molecular geometry. This is a symmetrical molecular geometry. We have the fluorines here. Each one of these is a fluorine in this square plane. Then our lone pair up on the top and the bottom. Since it's symmetrical, this is going to be a nonpolar molecule. There'll be a difference in electronegativity between the fluorines and that central xenon atom. But since it's all symmetrical, they're going to cancel out. There'll be no net dipole. Back to our Lewis structure. So we can say that xenon tetrafluoride, the bonds between the xenon and the fluorine, those are polar bonds, but overall, the molecule, because it's symmetrical, the dipoles cancel out. Overall, XEF4, xenon tetrafluoride, is a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.